Hello everyone, this is The Good Captain, and this is going to be a very brief and uh, different sort of video than the others in my uh, channel. I'm going to be doing a very quick overview of the Battle of the Points in the, um, the fall of the Philippines. Uh, this battle basically started um, in the, on the Bataan Peninsula um, and was part of the Japanese final effort to break through and destroy all the American uh, units and end resistance on this peninsula where the American and the f mostly Philippine army was uh, trying to hold out. And um, I'm using Google Earth, and this is this is uh, the main island Luzon in the Philippines, and I'm zooming in now on Bataan. This is the Bataan Peninsula right now. And the main thrust of the Japanese advance was down the east coast because it was the flat open plain area. And if you're following my channel, you'll know that we uh, that we just fought a battle around Orion. So there, there's to orient you. But the Japanese general, um, Homa, he, he planned a final thrust um, towards the end of January in 42 that would break through this defensive line on the east and also um, in, in conjunction with an amphibious assault originating from Olongapo that would hit what's called the points and the points are all down here you can see these jagged strips of land that jut out into the ocean these are the points now the original landing spot was supposed to be uh, at a, a quick little pause here let me get the name right uh, yeah the original landing spot was supposed to be at a place called Kaibobo point which is right here this piece of ground right here. Um, instead, uh, and what the, the objective was to, of course, get in behind the American lines, um, ideally force the Ameri uh, Philippine army out of Bagak, uh, force them to fall back, and if it worked out really well, uh, they were to form up and advance on, I'm gonna, I hope I don't mispronounce this, Marvels, this port area here. Okay, there's a major naval base here, or at least a naval base at the time. <clears throat> Instead, what happened... Okay, so now I actually... I made overlays from here on out. I'm going to use my overlay that I made. So this is the Battle of the Points. It starts on the evening of January 22nd. So the planned invasion was, again, right at the top of this map. Uh, Bagok's actually further north. But right here where the color starts on my printer... <laughs> This is uh, where that initial landing spot was supposed to be. The actual landing, um, they, they missed it in the dark and landed um, a battalion of Japanese troops in Quinawan Point, on Quinawan Point here. And in fact, part of them, part of this unit was lost in the dark and continued further and further and further south until they got to Longoskawayan Point. And uh, don't worry about these other um, annotations I have. Uh, just th They landed there at 0840 on 23 January to show you how long it took for these guys who were meandering around in the water trying to find their way. Um, but So the landing was marred from the beginning. PT-34 attacked at night and sank two of the transports, um, two of the landing craft, I should say, and and then they landed on the beach and set up. Um, but they were immediately, uh, a containment operation occurred immediately by the local resources available, which were grounded pilots, naval personnel who had no ships to, or jobs because the ships, the uh, Asiatic fleet was, had departed or uh, had been destroyed, etc. Um, and same with here. Uh, and Philippine police, I forgot to mention. So those three elements sort of working together really sort of third-rate troops, um, contained both of these landing points. Uh, and 
The Americans' command wasn't actually worried about it. Again, the main fight was going on on the east uh, coast there of Bataan um, until the Japanese doubled down. So this second battalion uh, had a sister battalion, the first battalion. And don't worry about the mess. We're going to go through this real, real slow. The first battalion uh, was launched four evenings later. So remember, they, we started on the on the evening of the whoops, sorry, we started on the evening of January twenty second. So four nights later, um, it's actually later in the evening. It's more more nighttime. The first battalion tries to reinforce Quinawan Beach, which was here. Okay, so they try to do this. They miss it again. Not not by much, but they do miss it. And 1st Battalion lands at Anyasan Point. <clears throat> so now we have four separate locations where Japanese troops are. And then um, this, this triggered the American command to take this operation by the Japanese seriously. And the 45th Infantry Regiment was dispatched um, and arrived on January 27th to contain this and to counterattack this. And the 57th Infantry Regiment on the same day moved again against Longus Gawaiyan. And this was the first Japanese position that was snuffed, um, just pushed to the cliffs and basically destroyed. And in this battle ended January 29th, just two days after the 57th Infantry Regiment elements of it moved into place and managed to, uh, to do battle. Um, up here, this took longer. Uh, more because, again, this was uh, down south, those were essentially lost elements of the 2nd Battalion that had gotten, uh, so it's a very small, much smaller element than these. Um, but also, the Japanese uh, tripled down on it and scrounging up their last bits of reinforcements on the evening of February 1st, again tried to reinforce Quinawan Point, missed it again, and even worse, PT boats... Uh, apparently this was the evening because P-40s, the, the Far East Air Force still had four operational P-40s that attacked this uh, as the sun was setting and did quite a bit of damage. And then at night, um, PT boats attacked and sank more. So I, th I think they sank something like half of this reinforcement group. The reinforcement group misses Quinawan Beach, lands at Conus Point, and just becomes another target for the, for the, for the 45th Infantry Regiment. and. Um, pilots and sailors and police officers of the of the Philippine um, constab constabulary. Um, anyway, the police force. Okay, uh, so this the 45th Infantry Regiment continues to attack and push, and even though it was a it was fairly apparently a fairly difficult operation, the Japanese, of course, not giving up, hiding out in caves and rocks and outcroppings. It didn't end until February 13th. But when it ended, it, it, it really was fairly decisive in that the Japanese lost two whole battalions. The Japanese tried to scrounge a relief effort to get some of their guys out of there, but they, they ended up pulling out something like 30, 34 infantry, uh, 34 troops, I should say. It was really a, an abysmal total failure by the Japanese to open up this sort of second front. Um, behind the American uh, line of res main line of resistance on the east side of, uh, of uh, sorry, uh, over here on the east side of the town near Orion. And then in conjunction with this total disaster down here at the points, the battle around Orion on this line of resistance here seesawed for a while. It was a grinding, bloody mess. But uh, the Japanese eventually just ran out of steam and completely pulled back and left the American and Philippine Army units alone uh, for very nearly two months. And so I just wanted to go over that before um, continuing another video. So that was the, that's a very brief synopsis um, and look at the Battle of the Points. So thank you for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.